again, Paul, he didn't seem overly thrilled with that win over Justin Ledette back at UFC 246. He felt like he was a little bit overly aggressive and like a backyard shed. Here is William Knight making the walk for his UFC debut. He turned pro back in 2018. And Megan O'Leary, you were there with us for the fighter meet. He was supposed to fight Alexa Kammer on the regional circuit. Kind of fell on deaf ears when we asked Kammer about yeah. that. To go with the light heavyweights, this tale of the tape is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. William Knight arrives at the UFC debut at 32 years of age. Alexa. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from UFC Fight Island in Abu Dhabi for UFC 253, Adesanya versus Casa. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. Six wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, Alexa Kamor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a brawler holding a professional record, eight wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of East Hartford, Connecticut, USA, William Nightmare Knight. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Lucas Wasaki. Lucas Bosashki, our referee. Camila getting us started officially for round one of a possible three. Of course, the belt in this division is vacant right now. It will not be at the end of the night. But these two fighters, 14 Ready. and one Ready. combined, Fight. with a big chance to showcase their skills tonight. This fight clock is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. William Knight is in green. Alexa Kammer is in blue. Camera for being such a big guy. You'll see spinning techniques, spinning back kicks, as we saw in the Contender Series, flying knees. And William Knight, just an absolute powerhouse. You let him get on top of you for a second, five seconds, he's going to close the show. Big Serbian community in Akron has made Alexa Kammer feel right at home. And we talk a lot about Stipe when it comes to these strong style fighters, and rightfully so, Ooh. as William Knight lands early. But... Alexa's brother, Naned, is really a huge unifying force when it comes to his training. Cooks for him. Mm -hmm. They were training in the garage together, so uh, I know Paul for you and me with two brothers. Must, it's certainly nice when you can lean on the brother in a competitive set. Yeah, absolutely. To have that at home, being able to stay training during the pandemic, all the stuff going on, and that's important. You know, and, and I remember talking to him and his brother. Yeah, he's the one that keeps him on track with the diet, making yeah. sure he's eating right like you talked about. Tommy Felder does not keep your diet on track. <laughs> no, but, no, but he's fun to celebrate with, John. I'll tell you that. Well, a new episode of Dana White looking forward to a fight. Return to Fight Island is now live on YouTube. UFC President Dana White, Hall of Famer Matt Serra, and Dean Thomas head to Abu Dhabi after a Middle Eastern cooking lesson. The guys make a mess at mealtime, <laughs> and then they test their air skills in a flight simulator. You may want to catch that new episode. Dana White looking forward to a fight right now on YouTube. Look out for the knees here, up against the clinch. Alexa doing a really good job of framing William Knight out as he's trying to close this distance, using his forearms, pressing him out to either set up elbows or those short knees. Good job getting the better head position here, too. He's going to look for a trip. Knight feels as though past opponents have underestimated his strength and athleticism. Why Alexa anybody Cameron ever would not. do that? Right, yeah, right. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm outside of the cage, and I'm not underestimating right, his uh, skills right. or strength. Camber told us Wednesday, I can't relax any time. They feel like they are conditioned to overcome bad situations if they find themselves in one tonight. Well, we're already seeing Camber take, take his time much more here in this first round than he did in his UFC debut. And this was Knight that initiated this, but now he's trying to take control. Good bicep control there, working some knees to the body, just looking to score points now. More action, guys. And he's getting warned for some action. And every ref's different, right? Some refs will let you play on this fence a lot more, others won't. And he's going to separate them. I can tell he's looking to step in here. But 
William Knight does a good job reversing. He's going to try to get it out into the open. And once they're in the open like that, you can't really separate them out here. you got to let them work. Now they're back in the clinch. You are right, though, to point out that there is a hugely wide range in terms of how the referees handle these clinch situations. Yeah, absolutely. You, you never know. And that's for athletes, that's tricky, right? Because you may want to work this. This might be the game plan to go in there, wear them out, wear on those arms. And then you go in there and the ref's clapping at you from 10 right, seconds right, in. Right. And you're like, wait, man, I'm just getting my, my lungs warmed up here. William Knight had two appearances on Dana White's Contender Series, the first of which was in 2019. He earned a developmental contract. And then September 1st was able to earn that UFC contract with a TKO in Las Vegas. Some and nice defense here from William. Sorry, John, I didn't good. mean to interrupt you there, but Kamer's trying to do outside trips and get these body locks, but Knight doing a really good job. Right now, I don't know, he shouldn't put that leg on the inside there. He's gotta be careful of that. Double underhooks here for Alexa Kammer as we go under a minute to go here in round one of a possible three. Okay, stop, 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 stop. There it is, John. Great. Now, I, I kind of agree with that. I think that, that's proper time. He warned them early, but that rep did let them play and let them work. Yeah, no argument here as we hit the 30-second mark. And I see nothing wrong with that. Let, telling your, your fighters to work and just stay in their ear, no problem with that. <laughs> Knight shucks off he, that head. He kick. was almost offended by that kick, wasn't he? <laughs> How dare, ooh, nice calf kick there from Knight. Knight got as high as 252 pounds after that initial win on Dana White's Contender Series. No problem making the light heavyweight limit tonight. Decent switch kick there and a combination oh, late the round. round. Second round. Champion will be crowned when Dominic Reyes meets Jan Blahovic. He can purchase UFC 253 through ESPN Plus. A good key, yeah. So I feel like that round really just started there at that end, ending sequence there from Knight. Landed some good shots, but got to be careful because what I'm noticing is as he does throw those combinations, Knight is putting his chin up in the air a bit. But he's proven he's got the chin to take it as well. Hammer presses forward, lands the jab, follows it up, and back into the clinch we go. And the next time they separate, John, take a look at the calf of, uh, of Kammer. Oh, yeah. That was one calf kick there from Knight. Right. There it is. He's been looking for that trip for a while now. Oh, my. He put himself in that Can position. Knight's so strong, he was able to, with one arm around the head in that headlock position, pull Kammer over like that. Nice job by Kammer to maintain the back. Yeah, but, and, and he put himself in this position. He allowed Kammer to take his back, but he's so strong. Look, he reversed right into it. Nice job there from Knight to get on top, and this is where he wants to be. He has some serious ground and pound. If he can get a little space here and just start raining down. That was interesting. That was quite a scramble there. That was one of those positions where none of that is traditional jujitsu right there. That was just him improving and making it work for himself. Now he's on the neck here. Well, William Knight told us in our fighter meeting, he doesn't like the holding and the clinching. That is one part of this mixed martial arts game that he could do without. But that being said, he has worked a lot on it and has yeah. held up pretty well in these situations tonight. Yeah, well, and, it, and good thing he did because that's where most of this fight has been taking place. And a few of those scrambles right there. But other than that, they've been pressing up against this fence quite a bit here in this fight. Nice toss there, outside the reef there, and trip. A little bit of a throw there from William Knight. And Alexa trying to figure it out here. He's looking. Oh, here's his hammer fist. They're clean, ref. They're on the ear. Right 
William Knight showing off power with every movement. Trains under crew at Thornton at Thornton Mixed Martial Arts in East Hartford, Connecticut. Both guys breathing heavily here as we come up on two minutes to go in round two. Yeah, and that's because of the, this, this clinch position. That wears you out. And then the scrambles that they've also had on, on the ground. They've been unorthodox and untraditional. And back and forth, that, that's going to wear especially big guys like this out. They ain't flyweights, John. That's the truth. It's a fact. That's a fact, son. Okay, more action fight this. And again, a call for more action from the referee. And right on cue, William Knight gets the takedown. So a couple takedowns for William Knight now in this round. Yeah, Morgan right in the side, side control. control here, yeah. We've seen the hammer fist. That's one of his specialties when he's on top. William Knight just Donkey Kong punches down there, man. Just bouncing your head off the canvas with every strike. You really got to hold on. You see it's forcing Alexa to just kind of hold on here instead of shrimping out. Instead of putting his forearms under the chin and on the hips of William Knight and trying to shrimp out, he's just trying to keep him close so he doesn't get hit with any more of those punches and hammer fists. And when you say shrimping out, do you mean leveraging his hip? Yes, so pushing on here like he is here. He's got to get that weight, push him up, and then scoot himself. Scoot those hips away, get the distance, dig an underhook, and try to work himself back up. And they're in a bit of a Ooh. weird situation here. He's eating some big shots. Cameron not in a great position to defend here. Looks like maybe Knight's trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's grabbing that arm, but he's just going to use that to take the back. Nice job there. Flattens him out. This is trouble. You see him trying to get back to a half guard position and turn into William Knight here. He doesn't want to be flattened out. If you have William Knight on top of you and you're flattened out or spread the chicken, as Daniel Gracie back in Philly would say, you don't want to be there. Yeah, I wouldn't want William Knight on top of you. No, you don't want him spreading your chicken. And now he <laughs> seamlessly transitions into the mount late in the round. He's ended both of these rounds extremely strong here. Oh! 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 Camera survives. My Round goodness. three Sorry. next out. Official protein snack of UFC. We got to hear Alex Cooper and Cody Stevens there in the corner of Alexa Cameron with some pretty pointed striking advice in particular. Yeah, they want him to stay out here. They don't want him to go to the ground. Every time he's tried to do that, William Knight finds a way to end up on top and doing some damage at that. There he goes back to that leg kick. I'd love to see Knight throw that a little more. Every time he lands it, it's making marks. It's doing damage. Hard to recall sitting down with a UFC newcomer who was as relaxed as William Knight was here a few moments ago, or a few days ago, I should say, and perhaps that's a byproduct of the Contender Series fight just a few weeks ago. Yeah, you're riding momentum. The quicker you can ride those waves and get right back into the fight, it's not as overwhelming for you. The longer those stretches are, especially early in your career, it's good to rattle them off, especially if you're healthy and you can, and the weight cuts aren't really destroying you, in which case, he seems to have handled it very well this time. And you just talk to him in the discipline that he talks about. He's like, I see all these other guys having fun. And he, he's not about that. He's right. listening to his coaches. He's doing what he's told to do. He's a good student and got another takedown. And that is just straight power there as William Knight gets Alexa Cameron grounded once again. Yeah, and he's just showing a good fight IQ here. Every time they've ended up on this mat, he's found himself in a good position. And he, was, he had to do it in strange ways, but he found a way there, and that's important. And that's one thing that I think William Knight does really well. Even when he's in a bad position, he doesn't get overwhelmed. He finds a way out of it and finds a way on top. And he had that key lock so tight at the end of that second round, John. I don't know how he didn't tap. Alexa was just ugh, showing his grit there as well. And flexibility. Yeah, that would have been the first career submission win for William Knight. Eight pro wins coming in, all of them by knockout or TKO. Here we go, a little momentum shift here. Falls off the back. Camera trying to work on top. Looks like 
Looks like William Knight is catching a breather before his next explosion. He's got to get some separation here. See how he, he's allowing Alexa to really dig into those hips and keep sucking those legs back. But before he worries about addressing the leg issue that he's trapped in here, he's got to push on the head or push on the face and pick a side that he wants to try to get up. But he's so strong, he ends up, ooh, he's got to watch that knee. Nice job there. While seemingly neither fighter wants to be in this clinch situation, we'll see who breaks out of it or at least tries to here. Battle for head position as we come up on two minutes to go here in round three. Nice elbow there from Cameron. He seems to just be a little bit frustrated here. You saw that in between rounds that he just couldn't seem to catch his breath. He seemed a little overwhelmed in this fight. Part of that might be to do with just the physicality and the strength of Knight, and he's fighting with that right now. He knows, he knows he's doing so much success on the ground. Nice, beautiful, another takedown. As soon as he gets any sort of warning from the referee for action, he immediately changes levels and is able to get Cameron down once again. Yeah, this is not where Cameron wants to be. He wants to get back up, get some separation and try to look for some big strikes, but William Knight just smothering him there, putting all that weight on him. And every chance he gets an opening for those punches, he makes them count, whether it's a hammer fist or a punch. So that's four takedowns secured on five attempts now for William Knight, who could be a minute away from bouncing Alexa Cameron from the ranks of the unbeaten. Cameron came in six and oh. Yeah, I think so. I think that O is gonna go, unfortunately for him. Because William Knight's just doing a beautiful job here, staying on top, grinding him out, looking to take the back, flatten him out. Now he's got that wrist trap. He's got that right arm pulled across the face of Alexa here, and he's going to look to just start holding that and landing some big shots. He's got to get rid of that control. There it is. Oh, this is a bad position to be in. Now he's going to get flattened back out. He's going to try to push on those hips. See? Cameron somehow finds a way, though. It gets out of that position every time. He does not allow him to keep that position where he flattens him out with his belly down on the canvas. Well, it looks like Cameron will be able to control posture enough to not get finished here. One final elbow for good measure as William Knight and Alexa Kammer go the distance. Looks like Connecticut's on the light heavyweight map in the UFC. The official decision 